know, I'm still, I still have like about a week left of filming. I'm excited. Uh, you know, I saw a few articles. They were positive. And then the negative articles came out. And, and I find it kind of surprising because it's really, all it is is a true story of Roe v. Wade, which everyone knows the case, but no one actually understands. It, it was flimsy. Go on Wikipedia. They'll say it was a flimsy argument. Probably shouldn't have been won. You know, and... And that's all it is, is a true story. And you wouldn't think Hollywood or, or liberals would lose their mind over it, but knowledge is power. And I think they're afraid if, if people saw, you know, what, you know, it's not just a clump of cells, that it is kind of a flimsy argument, that the people would might rethink it all together, especially with technology and all the modern advancements. It's been 45 years since Roe v. Wade. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. We are back, uh, and Hollywood has been roiled. The Hollywood left, the New York-L.A. Uh, connection, uh, are up in arms over a new uh, full-production movie uh, called Roe v. Wade. The movie, mostly shot in Louisiana, uh, was uh, made under deep cover with a code name 1973, and not everyone who starred in the movie knew who the other characters were. Uh, yet, as the script was read by more and more actors, and as more and more technicians were used, word leaked out, and some angry members left the cast. The director resigned, allegedly for political reasons, because he objected to the movie's message, uh, and Nick Loeb, who is the empresario of this entire project, stepped forward. Loeb is uh, the dynamic young scion of the Loeb Rhodes banking family of New York. His father, the dashing Reagan ambassador to Switzerland, John L. Loeb Jr. Uh, this is a first-class uh, production. Uh, Nick Loeb became interested in this issue uh, when uh, he broke up with his paramour, his fiance, Sofia Vergara. The two of them had uh, combined uh, his sperm and her eggs to create embryos. He would like to bring them now. They're frozen. They're no longer together, but he sees them as life. She would like to destroy them. So they battle in court. Joining us now, Mindy Robinson, who will tell us all about why Nick Loeb has made this dynamic movie uh, welcome to the Alex Jones Show. Well, thank you for having me, Roger. So that was kind of a long introduction, but if you look at these headlines, uh, it's extraordinary how Hollywood and New York have freaked out about this movie. So tell us, what, what's it all about and what was it like? Um, you know, I'm still, I still have like about a week left of filming. I'm excited. Uh, you know, I saw a few articles. They were positive. And then the negative articles came out. And, and I find it kind of surprising because it's really all it is is a true story of Roe v. Wade, which everyone knows the case, but no one actually understands. It, it was flimsy. Go on Wikipedia. They'll say it was a flimsy argument. Probably shouldn't have been won. You know, and, and that's all it is is a true story. And you wouldn't think Hollywood or, or liberals would lose their mind over it. But knowledge is power, and I think they're afraid if, if people saw, you know, what, you know, it's not just a clump of cells, that it is kind of a flimsy argument, that the people would might rethink it all together, especially with technology and all the modern advancements. It's been 45 years since Roe v. Wade. You know, why, why, why are people still having, you know, second trimester abortions at all? All this stuff is easily solvable. So I think they're worried about, you know, an, an educated populace changing their minds on the subject and the people on the fence seeing what it was and how snaky it was and, and the true origin of Planned Parenthood itself was basically eugenics. Yes, so ab I, I think absolutely. think they're afraid of the truth. Now, look, I, I think the message of this movie is that the Roe v. Wade decision uh, was political. It wasn't based on the law. It wasn't based on their case. Their case was weak, to say the least. This tells us the backstory, as I understand it, of the politics of how this happened. Uh, and uh, the left doesn't like this. There are actors in this movie, actors and actresses, who are who are uh, pro-choice, uh, but understand that this is a profession. Uh, but tell us some of the stars of this production, if you can. <laughs> well, obviously, we have Nick, and he's been absolutely great. He, he once you see how his character evolves, uh, you kind of understand the story so much. But I, I don't think a lot of people realize how many people 
that that are really in this movie, uh, the, the proponents of abortion later changed their stance. You know, you had the invention of the ultrasound, which allowed you, you know gave a face to an unborn child. You had Roe herself, who tried to overturn her case. You know, Roe was losing her mind because women were coming up to her and thanking her, like, thank you, because I had six abortions because of you. You know, she yeah. wasn't supposed to be birth control, you know, at yeah. whim. It was supposed I, to be I a am, desperate situation. I am one of those uh, libertarian conservatives who once thought I was pro-choice uh, because I didn't want the government telling a woman what she could do with her body. I thought that was her decision. I've been forced to rethink my views, uh, as I think so many people who were pro-abortion uh, when they were younger uh, but have had some time to reflect uh, have done. It's amazing to me the way the numbers and the polling has changed uh, towards a more right-to-life stance. I think this is based on the technology and the fact that you can see your baby and you can see that the baby is alive. So um, it's an amazing thing. Who are the stars? I know there's some... Corbin Bernson is in this movie. Steve Hoffenberg. Yeah, and obviously... We've had John Voight from the beginning. He is just immense, you know, just even in person and, and on film. He's just such a powerful, seasoned actor, you know, to have. And, and, you know, to have people that have been vocal throughout the years. Uh, we have what Stacey Dash attached. We have William Forsythe, who I love, who is a sweetheart. We've got Steve Gutenberg. I mean, the IMDb, you just go down it. You have Joey Lawrence. You have, you have a, it's like a conservative superstar cast. And yeah, really. actors that are that are in it for the art too. That that are, and they're not even pro life, but you know they believe the story deserves to be told. We we tell stories about serial killers all the time. How can we not tell a story that with a pro life stance? It's ridiculous. Can you uh, tell us what part you play? Who do you play in the movie? <laughs> I play Ellen McCormick. Uh, she was a pro life Democrat uh, that ends up, you know, later on in life, she ran for president twice, and she was the first woman to uh, run and, and got Secret Service protection and matched government funds. And her only, you know, platform was pro-life because at the time it, it was a death knell for politicians to pick one or the other. So they wouldn't pick. And they're like, no, this isn't right. You need to pick. Are you pro-life or pro-choice? Stop dancing around it. It's an important issue. And so that's what got her as far as, you know, what she did and stuff like that. And, and I'm, I'm pretty unrecognizable in the film. I, I won't look like my MBD profile for sure. And it, it, it's, she's such a strong character, and there's so much love, you know, for saving babies and, and doing all the stuff. And, and she really brings up a lot of the good points that people aren't asking, you know, about abortion. You know, why do you say pro-choice? That sounds so positive. How is that positive, you know? So all right. It, it's well, really interesting because they're really cool cat. All right. Well, Mindy Robinson, tell, it, well, tell folks where they can find you on Twitter and Facebook because your feed is always lively. <laughs> I'm on Twitter at iHeartMindy. I'm on Instagram at iHeartMindy. Uh, iHeartMindy page is the Facebook. You can find me on Facebook. That's probably where all the fun happens. Uh, Red, White, and FU is, is my commentary show I do that's very patriotic and, and, and that kind of thing. And uh, if anyone wants to write me, if it's American AF Mindy at Yahoo. If you got questions, you want to know about anything, you know, uh, I'm, I'm a patriot. I want to see this film get made, and, and I want to tell a voice to the other half of America that hasn't had a voice. All right, there you go. Mega Mindy, thank you for joining us. Uh, <laughs> thank I'm you. Ro thank you. I'm Roger Stone. You're on The Alex Jones Show. Uh, it is quite extraordinary uh, to be uh, in a situation uh, in which there is no evidence of Russian collusion, no evidence of collaboration with WikiLeaks, no evidence uh, whatsoever that I knew about John Podesta's uh, email release. And you have to edit my tweet to even infer it. Yet CNN reports that the special counsel is examining my finances. Reuters reports that several of my associates have been subpoenaed to a, a grand jury. Uh, and one of my oldest associates, Andrew Miller, who left me three years ago to become a legal marijuana farmer in Northern California, is fighting a grand jury subpoena. Meanwhile, the government pokes through every molecule, every microscopic molecule of my personal business and political activities. Uh, there is no Russian collusion. And that, uh, the, uh, the goal here is to uh, either charge me with some unrelated offense to get me to testify against the president or to silence my voice as a critic of the special counsel and the president's critics. Either way, I need your help. Please go to the stonedefensefund.com, stonedefensefund.com. 
I need your help. Online stories that say I'm worth $20 million are planted, probably by David Brock, to, uh, dis to discourage uh, 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 donors. We won an important victory in New York when we knocked out a lawsuit by an Obama-backed group uh, to uh, over the very issues at hand, Russian collusion, the alleged hacking of the DNC, and the other fairy tale. Uh, now I face a lawsuit from the DNC. These are not unlike the phony lawsuits that Infowars and Alex Jones are facing. It is lawfare, the new, contact, the new tactic of the left. Thank you for your support, and God bless you. Victory or death. If you are receiving this transmission, you are the resistance. the fate of humanity. The time to choose sides has come. We are the resistance. We are the info war. Extendowise, the latest product from InfoWarsLife.com, fuses all the known compounds that have been proven to be good for our hearts and cardiovascular system. And listen, everybody's got a heart. Well, actually, maybe Hillary and George Soros don't, but everybody else has a heart, and this product is amazing. So, if you have a heart, and you want the very best product out there that's designed to aid a healthy heart, cardiovascular system, it's Extendowise, available at InfoWarsLife.com. And like all of our products are game changers, this baby is the most souped up, awesome version the top formulators can come up with and still be affordable. It's one of the very best heart pills out there. It's Extendowise. So, Get some for yourself and family and friends. It's got the very best fish oil from the fjords. It's very, very pure, very, very clean, and has the EPA type that is specifically good for the heart, cardiovascular system. Uh, it's got the properly formulated type of CoQ10 and more. It is Extendowise, now available at InfoWarsLife.com.